Hey everyone, welcome to another AI Pause video. Ed is here, and today we are going to be showing you a great outpainting workflow for ComfyUR using Flux Fill. Um, this is a pretty common workflow for outpainting, and it does a great job. Um, so we'll go over the nodes real quick. So it's actually going to be loading the DGUF Flux Fill model. So if you don't have that model, I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can download it. Makes things a lot faster and easier, especially you have low VRAM systems. Uh, so that's going to be loading that model. We're actually going to be loading an image here. And then it's all going to grab the image size and height. And also you have an empty latent size picker with this. So you can actually outpaint it to whatever you like go as high as 3.0 uh, and you can go the other way as well if you have a long uh, image you want to outpaint top to bottom um, there's also going to be an image blend advance node which is fairly important it's going to blend them blend the images out uh, you can choose the normal as well as all the different other blend modes if you're familiar with photoshop and you will be familiar with what these do there is an xy a uh, percentage node from Comfy Mix Lab nodes. You can actually move the slider to see where you want it to have the X, Y, um, and have it out painted from there. You have the image resize and a dual clip loader here saying clip L shape tensors and the T5 don't look cell. You guys should have that by now. Uh, it's also going into Florence too. And we've, we're seeing Florence too. It's a staple in our workflows when we build them but it's becoming such a staple and then all workflows just because of the way captions and gives gives prompts from images. Is. It's the best in our opinion so far, node wise. Uh, but yeah, we can, you, I would suggest you get used to this. These, you set some nodes and put them in all your workflows that you create. Okay, this conditioning for flux guidance is 30 in ping model conditioning and the VAE goes in case sampler. With our steps at 50, we randomize the seed, CFGs at one, denoise at one. We also run it through an upscale model using Valor, our favorite upscale model. It's a simple one. We can also do us the ultimate upscale for that as well. So well, let's get to some results here. So you can look any image you want. You know, just make sure that your resolution obviously is larger than the image you upload. So we're going to load some images. Let's try this. This is a slice of a cafe that we actually sliced out for this workflow entirely. So there is an original photo which has this whole picture and we're going to cue prompt and it's going to fill in this side to side to see what it gives us. It's out painting and it's a cafe area. Maybe I'll show you the original. I guess I could. But let me show you. I'm gonna jump the photos. I guess I won't. Let's just do this. All right, we're we're gonna. This is. Let's get here. Let's go to Photoshop real quick. If my computer will let me, and they won't let me because it's big, stupid. Computer chart. Okay, so here is the original image. We just sliced out a portion of it. Again, CompuY has no idea about this image. It's going to based on. The, Looks to have a filling where it's been trained on, but we're going to see how it compares to this, which is kind of dumb because it won't really compare because that's no idea what the image it's going to use. And it has from the image down paint it and we'll see how well it comes out. Nice cafe. That's or they even put a person over there out painted. And if we compare to the original image, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's guessing all this stuff. So that's a pretty good uh, out painting for that. Let's do another quick one. Uh, let's do a pattern. Let's do coffee beans. This is a close up image of coffee beans. I just wanted to see what it will do. I know it's going to replicate more coffee beans. I just wanted to see how to do it. Uh, you can test this out. And here is the Florence 2. Prompt I gave us images to post up of a pile of coffee beans, right? So this is what they came out with. It did nice replicating the coffee beans. 
nice detail all around. Pretty cool. Uh, so let's do some other ones. I want to show you, let's, okay, we're going to use this photo of someone driving. Now, when you start to introduce humans into this, it does sometimes hallucinate it sometimes does create some undesirable results because humans involved because it's going to try and replicate the subject the human and it's going to give like two or three people but hopefully let's see if this detects it yeah showing up sitting in a driver's seat of a car she is wearing okay so it does detect what she's doing and, and where she is so hopefully it'll just outpaint the rest of the car um but we will see what that comes up with. All right, so this is what I came up with. Nacri did a nice job of ex outpainting the card. Also added a passenger or somebody like right here looking at our subject. But pretty good job from just that one shot. Oh, check. I probably picked that up to make a person. Like, yeah, that's a good job. So let's really try and catch this and see what it does. So I'm going to do this photo. And it's just going to be of a model's face. Now, this is going to be tough because I'm pretty sure it's going to try and retrace this person a couple times on the outpaint. Uh, so let's just see what happens. Pressure fingers. Okay, this is what I came up with. It came up with a very interesting shot here because it is pretty close to that model. But it's like a three shot outpainted, like a three panel shot, which is very interesting. It did well. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, and you can get pretty with, say this is what I came up with. It did a nice job out painting the bubbles, blurred them out a little bit for some bokeh effect. That's pretty cool. So it's, it's, it's a great way to make single shots widescreen if you want to do that or top to bottom. Bitch, you guys like and subscribe. Um, we're going to have a lot more content as always. AI Fuzz is not going anywhere. Uh, we're here to stay. Uh, and uh, if you guys have any suggestions or let us know what you think, put it in the comments. So I'll see you guys next time when I'm out of AI Fuzz video. Uh, see you later, guys.